Hey everybody, welcome back to another knife review. Today we're taking a look at the QSP Milan series. I got two of their knives, a small kind of pairing knife and a large chef's knife. Before I get into them though, I'll show off the packaging. The large chef's knife pretty much came the same packaging, but the difference is this one came with a leather sheath. It's not the highest of quality leather or anything, but it's cool that they included that because one, it kind of looks cool in the sheath. And also, I don't know if you're taking it camping or something or somewhere where it's in a bag and you don't just want like a little cardboard sheath covering it, then that's kind of a cool little addition to throw in the box. So I like that a lot. Uh, the chef's knife packaging is the same, just without that big leather sheath. So... I first saw these on, I believe it was a Blade, yeah, Blade Show video from earlier this year from Birdshot 4 or Birdshot IV, Frankie and Bird. So they were at the QSP booth and they showed off the new kitchen line or kitchen knife line and they showed off all the different styles, the Damascus ones, the big butcher one or whatever, but I saw them and immediately thought, well, I definitely have to get those because one, it's QSP, so I know it's gonna be fairly high quality, and it's also gonna be fairly budget, so it won't be very expensive. So I was waiting all year for them. They finally came out toward the later end of this year, 2023. So finally got them. I got them a couple months ago, but I've been using them a lot, kinda testing them, just see how they hold up and how they do and didn't want to just rush the review so first i'll get into the specs i have all the details and stuff on both so i'm going to go through the specs real quick of the four inch kritsuke that is this style of knife so the overall length is 8.35 inches blade length 4.25 inches blade thickness 0.08 nice and normal for a kitchen knife not too thin not too thick handle length 4.1 inch Handle thickness, 0.65 inch. Weight, 2.3 ounce. Blade material, Sandvik 14C28N, which is very nice. Uh, a lot of kitchen companies making pots and pans and stuff will also have chef's knives and stuff, but uh, some of them just say stainless steel. You don't even know what it is, or it'll be some whatever, just decimal number that's supposed to tell you what type of steel it is, and it's nice to know. 14C28N, everybody knows what that is now, so it's nice to know what steel you're using. Uh, ebony wood handle. This is a sheep's foot blade for that Kritsuke style knife. Uh, flat grind, satin finish. Very cool. Horizontal satin. Very easy to clean. Made in China like all QSP knives, at least I believe so. So onto kind of the design of this one, and well, I guess the design of both of them, they both come with this wooden handle. The uh, chef's knife is a little bigger handle, but same shape and everything, has this twisted pattern in it, gives you a little bit of grip and a little texture to it, not just 100% smooth wood. The metal pommel back here, and the hilt kind of has a little red, reddish-orange detail there in the middle of it. The QSP logo is the only thing on it. No other billboarding, which is nice. Especially on kitchen knives, you kind of want to make it look good. I have it on my knife block, so it's kind of like a show off your cool-looking knives. You don't need the big billboarding or anything on it. Now I'm going to do the specs because of the chef's knife because the pros and cons are pretty much the same for both. So this one, real quick, overall length 14 or 13.4 inches, blade length 8.25, nice normal chef's blade length. Blade thickness same 0.08. Handle length 5.15, handle thickness 0.9, so a little fatter. Nice for better grip cuz you're cutting a lot more with the uh, chef's knife than you are the little paring knife. Weight 6.4 ounce. Feels very light 
for a chef's knife, but 6.4 ounce isn't too light or anything. Also, 14C28N, ebony wood, harpoon blade, very different for a chef's knife. Flat grind, satin, everything the same, made in China. <clears throat> so the only difference on the design really is you get this little rounded spot here where you can put your finger if you're choking up a little, but I mean, I'm holding there or I don't know, I guess I'm kind of using that little choil, but not too much. I mean, when you're chopping, you're kind of usually pinching, but it's also got a nice crowned spine. So uh, when you're, if you're pushing like this, like sometimes when I'm dicing onions, I like to thinly push in like that just to get the starting lines to then go through and dice them the other direction. So it's nice and comfortable both ways. And the cool harpoon shapes, so they have other shapes. They have like a, um, like the normal Japanese style blade shapes, kind of a plain more like Americanized chef knife or whatever. A, um, I guess it'd be like a French chef knife, just the plain normal style. And then this is kind of their outlandish one. So the pros for both of them, they both came very sharp. I really noticed it on the 4-inch because my other pair of knives really, even when they came new, they weren't like razor sharp or anything. They were nice and sharp and able to cut paper or whatever, but they were um, fine for cutting chicken. But when I used this, it just like melted through everything I cut. So very sharp. Um, they're nice and light, like I said with that one, but this one's the same way. I mean, it looks a little bigger than some of my other pairing knives, but the weight, because of the wooden handle, it's big, but it's not very heavy. Like I said, crown spine on both, that's very nice. Very comfortable and easy to clean. Doesn't tear apart the paper towels or anything while I'm wiping it down. Cons, so the only con, oh, and the pro is this one comes with a leather sheath. So the only cons I could think of, I couldn't think of any cons for the little four inch kutsuke, but for this one, I don't know if it's the blade thickness or like like the the thickness at the tip or something. There's something when I'm using it where um, if I'm cutting down at like the back end and kind of hit the tip on something, there's like a weird almost, I don't know if it's because of the 14C28N being hardened to a little harder than a normal chef's knife, but it almost felt like it's very stiff and not flexible back here. So there was a weird, kind of just a weird feeling when you hit the edge when you're cutting. Like it almost feels like, like if you take a, a tip of a pocket knife and you like drag it across wood, like you kind of, you might be scared you're going to snap the tip. Like it almost feels like that. And it's a hard feeling to describe, but that's the only thing I could think of as a con. I'm not exactly sure how strong the handles are. I know my other knives that are all molded in, I'll kind of show this later as a comparison, but this is all one piece, or at least molded in, and maybe the handle under there is welded on or something, but it's all one piece, and I feel like I could swing this at a tree, and it wouldn't snap the blade off or anything but this one I'm not exactly sure I've cut through some hard things with it some frozen stuff like I've, I've used it pretty hard and I've never felt any wiggle or any movement or anything but I'm just not exactly sure how strong it would be not as strong as a full tang knife or anything but seems to be pretty strong for now and that's the only con I can think of really so my final judgments, I think they're both very cool. It's cool that a normal knife company like QSP is coming out with a uh, kitchen line. I know like Spyderco has kitchen knives. Uh, I think Benchmade has some. Boker has some. Um, so there are some nice companies coming out with them. But, I mean, the Spyderco prices and the even the Boker price, well, the Boker's a little more, but not, not crazy priced. So having this at 63 or 64 and that about 99 I think one of them might be like a 96 price but I forget which blade um, shape that is but for those prices I think they're really good a little comparison this Mattia Barani 
think made by Big Knives. Um, this one was about a hundred bucks, and it is VG10. So you can see that little line down in the glare where the VG10 clad with the stainless steel, uh, where the layering is. So I'd say the blade 14C28N that is a little more high quality than just a VG10 layered stainless, but they're both very similar. The main problem with this compared to that is this is a vertical. You can see it's a vertical machine grind satin kind of. But the problem is you can see a little right there on the blade. There's a lot of scuff marks and stuff, and that's mainly from sliding it down to my knife block. So my knife block in my kitchen, it slides down vertically. Um, so rubbing it against wood, it's going to leave a little mark and stuff. But also, if you're cleaning with a paper towel like I do, never put them in the dishwasher. Just soap in a hot water and a paper towel and then wipe it off after. Um, even that, it can pick up little pieces of something harder than this blade steel and leave little abrasions in it. So going against that satin where it's vertical rather than horizontal, I do like this a lot more because... One, it feels smoother, going with the grain and everything. But also, if there's a little piece of something that's abrasive in the paper towel, it's just going to push along the satin anyway, so scratch really won't show up too bad. So I do like that a little more than the Mattia Barani, which I still love that knife. I use it every other night because I use this on the other days. Um, I love that the... The, the steel they use is a nice common known steel, not some random number or trash unnamed steel that they won't tell you. So uh, I'd recommend both of them, especially for 99 and 64 I think originally the prices on Blade HQ were showing like 60 something for all of them, which I obviously would have liked a cheaper knife than a $99 knife, but uh, I think 99 is fair. If they ever go on sale, then definitely I might even pick up another if it goes on sale just because I uh, might as well have another in case this one wears out. Um, really love it, though. I think they're both really cool. I've used them probably, I've used this a lot more. It's probably cooked 20-some meals with it in the past month or two. This one I've used a little less, but processing chicken, so uh, cutting the fat off or um, trimming stuff or even cutting a little bit of vegetables. If I'm not doing like a big meal that requires a bunch of chopping with that, then this does the job great. So both are really cool. Definitely check them out. If you have a local knife store that has them, check them out in hand if you can, but that's probably uncommon. So I think for 99, it's a nice price and 64. So check them out. Don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. I have a video of this Matteo Barani and some other chef's knives. So you can see a little uh, what I had to say about those ones also. But uh, I love these more than all the other ones except for this one. And check out the other videos on the channel. And thanks for watching.